Hello, in this video, we are going to look at changing file permissions. So this is a really, really cool thing, but don't worry if you don't get your head around it the first time, because I know professional, you know, Linux users that, you know, get confused from time to time. So first of all, what I want to do is show you this diagram that I've got off the internet called Linux permissions made easy. And this is the overall format. So it'll become a bit more clear in a second. You have three numbers, so it's 777 so far, and depending on what number you choose, it will have a different sort of permission for user, group, and everyone. So user is you, group is if you will use a part of a particular group, everyone is everyone on that system. Okay, so R is read, which is basically allows you to you know see the file, open it, for example. W is write, so modification. X is execution. So execution is useful for stuff like EXEs, for example. So if you ever have an issue where you try to download stuff off the internet and you're trying to run a file and it says from another permission not allowed, this video probably will help you. It probably just doesn't have the execute permission. And that's the thing. That's literally all there is to know. So let's go into our terminal. And I'm on the desktop now. And remember, if we type in ls-l, we get a bit more information. And here we go. Here's the read and write stuff. A directory has a D at the start. That's the only difference. Everything else is the same. So RW, if there's a dash there, that means it doesn't have executable or, you know, that type of permission. So let's create a new file. So touch file1.txt. Now if I print it out, let's see the default permission is read and write for me, read for the group, and just read for everyone else. And I want to show you one other thing as well. To actually see the permissions from the GUI, let's go to properties, permissions, and they're right there. Okie dokie. So let's change it. To change it, you put chmod. Then the new permissions so if i go back to the diagram and i'm just gonna make it so it's read only so four four and four for everything so ch mod four 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 and now i need to specify the file name or the file location as i'm in this folder of the file.txt otherwise you could drag it on and now if i run it as you can see file it's just read, 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 instead of read, write, read, read. Watch what happens if I go to the desktop, there's a padlock there, and if I can open it, because I am allowed to read it, and if I try and um, you know, save something, I can't, this button is no longer there, try and close it, I can save as, or I can close without saving or cancel. So I can only read this file at the moment, and if I was to change this to 777, which is the highest permission for everything, which allows reading, writing, and executing. As you can see, it has all of the permissions, which is pretty darn cool. But obviously, for most of you, want to make sure that you have the correct permissions and not any extra permission that somebody doesn't need. I want to show you one other thing. As you can see, I've got this folder here, yeah, files, some files in there. And if you look, the permission always have execute on there. So like why does it need the execute permission? So if I do chmod and I'm gonna do five 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 files. So I've removed the writing from all of these. So that just means it's locked, but I can open it. I can see it. But watch what happens if I just do chmod four 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 which actually removes execution. There we go. It's just read, read, read. Uh, it didn't do it. Then that will be because... There we go. Let's run it. Sorry. Yeah. This is what I want to show you. It, it will not allow you to open it. So you've got to make sure you have execute on. So that's what execute does for folders. So I'm going to go back to, what was it? I think it was 755, I believe. 
a yes that's right okay so that's permission that's really all you need to know so remember chmod then you know 777 or whatever it is based on this little diagram so read write and execute user group and everyone so if i do if i just want to write and execute but not read for some reason i'll just provide three so you just add them together a max is seven so that is it if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video